this is Jeff Fulgan doing a review for the Sisters of Mercy's Floodland on the anniversary of Ian Curtis's death. Rest in peace. It's been about 33 years since he's been gone. And we're really going to miss him. And I've had a very interesting day on this anniversary of Ian Curtis's death. So, planning on doing a review on Skinny Puppies. Wonderful album in the professional intercourse. I had a nice little shirt to wear, but you can see here, here I can, where it's all ripped up now, ripped to shreds. Got in a fight. My sister's deadbeat dad today. What a great way to kick off Ian Curtis's death anniversary. Yeah, but don't worry about me. Oh my god, it's a little teeny weeny cut you probably can't even see on cam. So what difference does it make on my arm here? And let's see, can you show that? Yeah, you can't even see it on camera. It's that tiny. And I had a shirt ripped. Which kind of sucks because I don't like to close shop. I'm a straight male. So I have to go buy another shirt like that again. That blows. But further ado, let's get on to the review of the Sisters of Mercy's great classic album, Floodland. Notice the cover, the dark sunglasses, the moon, and the girl lying in obscurity with the water. It's a very timeless album cover. It's a very timeless album too. And it was produced by, uh, God, what's his name? I gotta look at it now. Um, Jim Steinman. If you don't know who Jim Steinman is, he also produced Meatloaf. Yeah, and some song I can't remember, it was in the 80s, some white haired woman, and he also produced, let me try to remember anything else he produced, uh, I can't remember, but he produced a lot of, oh, Air Supply, there's one he produced, so that's kind of a weird turn to co-produce this, but I don't think he produced this, I think he, let me see, Oh, okay. So he didn't produce the whole album. He only produced Dominion Mother Russia, which is a great track with uh, a lot of uh, choir singers. And he also produced, let me see, This Corrosion, which is actually a really good pop song that they pulled off. It's a very obscure pop song. That actually was the very first song I got into from hearing The Sisters of Mercy. I remember I was hanging out with this girl who had some okay taste when it came to the dark cold alternative music and uh, I was listening to a lot of eh, stuff on our mp3 player and it was one of those iPods where you skip and you can't see what the song or name or title is and I heard the first few minutes of this corrosion with the choir singers I'm like this is bizarre then when it got into its vibe and did its pop thing I thought this is one of the most weirdest songs I've ever heard and I asked her who is this I gotta buy this album this is so bizarre and she told me it was the Sisters of Mercy who I heard of but I never really heard the album and I've seen this cover in a lot of fashion magazines timeless goth magazines so yeah it's a very popular cover and actually it did pretty well it was a very successful album considering what band it was and so forth and being gothic or dark alternative mind you uh, favorite tracks on here for me, I love Flood, it's very moody, it's very dark, I like uh, Lucretia My Reflection, it's very catchy and also very moody, the first track Dominion Mother Russia is good, all produced by Jim Steinman, 1959 is a nice piano ballad, and this Corrosion is just, like I said, a crazy pop song, but it works, it's very, very unique. A little long though at 10 minutes and 55 seconds, but still a great song nonetheless. Flood 2 is its kind of like another take on Flood 1. It's very, very similar in lyrics and sound, but just different kind of arrangements, I guess. Driven Like the Snow is a really good cold wavy type of song. And Neverland, a fragment, is just dreamy. Takes you on a trip. Torch is also produced by Jim Steinman, and that's a bonus track on here, as well as Colors, which is a bonus track on here. 
and there's a version of this album which is it's some kind of deluxe version which includes Emma which is their best cover by far in my opinion cover song it was originally done by hot chocolate who did I believe in miracles you sexy a thing yeah kind of weird them covering a song by them but it's actually a really dark song about a suicide and it's really good also on that deluxe edition colors is longer it's like it's either colors or, or uh, Neverland I think Neverland's what it was and it's like 10 minutes and, and on here it's only two and a half minutes so it's not that much longer and um, it's just a great album I recommend it it's dark it's got songs about Portrait girls like Isabel and Lucretia. It's got it's gothic poetry moments. It's moody. If you like really deep baritone goth and innovators of that, like the away kind of vocal style, then you'll like this. And to me, it's their best album out of the technical three that they released, which were, well, if you count their demo album, I don't, but there was three albums, LPs. There was. Uh, first, last, and always. There was this next, and then there was a uh, something. I can't remember what it was called. Vision thing. Yeah, that's what it was called. Vision thing was a little heavy and a little repetitive. And the first album was a little. First, last, and always was a little goth and doomy for me, but I liked it. But it was kind of really into that. Whereas this is a really good in between album. It's diverse in many sounds. It goes from pop to almost hard rock, to gothic, to experimental. It's a very unique album and considering he was mostly alone on this because other members of Sisters of Mercy before this went on with members of Red Lorry, Yellow Lorry I believe to do a band called The Mission I think is what it was called. He was mostly alone on this which is Andrew Eldridge. So considering he was basically doing a lot of this by himself, that's impressive. I mean, it's almost like a one-man band type of album. So it's very impressive, considering what it is. It's very cutting edge. It's pretty successful. It's classic. It's timeless, as timeless as the album cover is. And I rated it a four, 5 out of 5 stars easy. 10 out of 10. It's a perfect album. It's a great listen. It won't bore you because of the diversity. So I strongly recommend you get Floodland if you don't got it from the Sisters of Mercy. 1987, the year I was born. Like God said, let there be sisters of mercy for Jeff, and there was. Well, I'm Jeff Paul signing out, and I hope that review helps anybody out there watching. Thank you for watching.